Have you ever looked around and noticed how everybody is living monochromatic lives? It dawned on me how everybody just accepts whatever lifestyle they've been spoon-fed by the mainstream. You pick a lifestyle off the shelf and you try to force that suit to fit, even though it was not made for your body. And your true nature doesn't even align with those materials and colors. This is not some matrix escaping bullshit sold to you by second-hand Rolex wearing sand dune country passport dwellers. No, this is just human nature. The universe is parsimonious and this means people choose the path of least resistance. Whatever lifestyle is popular is the lifestyle that most choose. It just so happens that whatever comes directly off the shelves has no character or life in it. Got blasted into life to craft my ideal version of it, knowing that I don't vibe with the traditional way of doing things. Got nothing but a fire under my ass to build everything from ground up, so I don't lose my spirit in this dry desert around me. And I got some of that stuff covered, but there is still a long way to go to be where I want to be. All my wacky actions have been made around knowing surely as hell where I don't want to be. I find that many people my age still live the same childlike fantasy that everything will be handed to you on a silver platter. And that's fine if you're not a red-blooded male with ballistic desires caged inside yourself. And this is not about money, but fucking everything. The way you experience every moment. If you are not putting bullets into the sky, you are not collecting any bird to eat tonight. As I grow older, I am peeling layers upon layers of conditioning and crap that just keeps me spiritually cucked. What's a spiritual cuck? It's the gap between your deep desires and the things you do to avoid expressing them. That's where most people's spirits experience annihilation. The shit you are denying yourself that comes hunting you back your entire life. Avoiding your nature and growing more and more bitter as you keep doing it. Drives me insane when I discover new ways I have been repressing my life. And something clicks inside my mind to virtually shift my reality. And I realize I have been a terminal fucking dumbass, wasting time. And now I have to start all over again, from scratch. I'm far from where I want to be. But hell, at this rate of peeling it's a matter of when, not if. One of those clicks has been made in the last few months when I've realized that my life revolves around my computer. I was disconnected from real life and I had no real social circle as a 22 year old adult. And there's such trash information out there on how to live a good life, make good like-minded friends that I had to hack and slash my way through all this. And it's only the beginning. Long story short, say yes to everything. Take as many socials as possible. Then start things, invite people places, be as retarded as you publicly can so that the people with the right amount of autism will be magnetically attracted to you. Who knows, maybe you'll meet someone to annihilate your feet with on a lofty mission. I am not living my social life to fate. Got big plans for my life and removing all the dark DNA from my genome is top priority. Modern life encourages you to dim your fucking fire and stay in line. Don't make noise, don't take space. And the same motherfuckers that prevent you from all that will listen to Pink Floyd telling them to not be a brick in the wall. The universe is funny like that. Sure, you don't have to be skydiving every day to have a colorful life. Maybe your nature is simply not cut for that and that's okay. But listen to what you are deeply feral about. If you are a brainiac motherfucker, chances are that you are repressing that primal nature. And if you don't channel that shit into something constructive, you'll end up like all the loonies you see on TV doing hideous acts of defying all human dignity. This is why nowadays I vibe best with zero Kelvin temperature IQ motherfuckers. Or really intelligent folks. The frying pan for a brain dudes have no time to overthink and they just ram bullets at any activity they are doing and only clean up after themselves afterwards if they are faced with negative feedback. The reason living a colorful life is so alien and hard to do in the modern age is because every step you take to live an unconventional life is faced with friction from people that have never seen color. One weapon to engrave in your central nervous system whenever faced with people throwing sandpaper in your face is to ask yourself, do I really want the results of this person I am listening to? I find that I rarely actually do. There's very few people on this planet that haven't been swooped by the colorless paradigm. And I feel a deep responsibility to talk to misfits alike. 
Because when I needed someone like that in my constant phase of limbo, I had to serve the edges of the fucking planet to come across a handful of people like that. I'm at an age where people start telling me I'm making wrong decisions. But I'm used to it. And I take it as a message that I'm living in accordance to my true nature. The fuck is a wrong decision? To hell with that. There are no wrong decisions, just choices of expressing your spirit. There is no plan B's and falling back on second options. No, 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 no. The only way out is all the way in. You're delusional. Yes. So the fuck what? That's the point. Why would you choose to live life in what is considered normal reality? We all live in our own delusions. Some just have prettier rainbows painted on our skyboxes. Today you have to apologize for fucking breathing, man. I have way more respect for any Gen Z TikToker pushing a mountain of cringe and getting what they want out of life than any meek motherfucker being afraid to be seen in public, worried about their body casting a shadow. Truthfully, what I have been searching for is permission from others to do what that feral animal inside wanted to do all along. It's a culture of repression and denial of spirit. And having any voice telling you otherwise is a mountain breeze when you are gasping for air. So of course you're seeking permission when every word that comes across your ears is there to keep you where you are. People with the DNA of Victorian chimney sweepers got access to an internet connection and now they are teaching everyone around how to live. And anyone against that style of living is a heretic. <laughs> Funny. I am not going to act like I'm some authority on the topic of living a top life. Nobody cares about what someone in their 20s has to say about life. I'm just a guy trying to preserve my spirit in the face of all this wicked shit that tries to lure you into annihilating your spirit in exchange for some social points in the eyes of others. I may be young, but I at least got the spirit to go through the muck and give some pointers while living the story. And as always, cheers for watching.